Good morning, YouTube. We got another marvelous day in Texas. It's just a wonderful spring day, a wonderful sunshine. Sun come up right on time and early this morning. It was a, it got down to 45 degrees. Nice crisp weather though, with a just a very light breeze. So it was just wonderful, just very light breeze and just nice and crisp. And got out and ran early. I, got out and ran two miles and then did my exercise it was just marvelous just felt so good out there you know uh, it just uh, once you get up and get started it's just so wonderful out there and uh and uh the roses are all beginning to uh, to bloom all out and uh, all the trees are out now and uh, within another week i'll have good thick shade so that when the the weather does get hot it'll just be nice and cool underneath that shade but right now it's just a just a marvelous uh uh, mar have a marvelous good time being outside. It just it's going to get up to like uh, uh, nearly 70 today, about 65 today, and so that's just perfect temperature between 45 and 65. I just like it just exactly like that. I wish it was that way all year round, but <clears throat> I'm just so full of energy this morning, and uh, I've got uh, uh, the uh, thoughts of infinite mind are uh, are just flowing through me all the time, and. Uh, I have uh, my journals that uh, I do every every morning, and uh, as I listen to Tanya Love like I do every morning, she always has marvelous ideas and and always lifts me up in great joy. And so it just keeps me with uh, uh, my journals and my uh, uh, infinite mind meditations, and uh, listening to Tanya Love just keeps me full of energy uh, to where I can just do uh, anything that I want to do. I just feel so uh, so uh, thankful for this uh, miraculous spring we're having with this wonderful weather and for all the ideas that Infinite Mind has given me and for uh, YouTube and what that, uh, all the, the marvelous teaching is going on there on uh, all the different channels and um, uh, especially this one here with, uh, with Tanya Love and uh, I know that uh, things are just going to continue to get better and better with, with all of it. And people are going to continue to raise their awareness more and more, more and be filled with more and more energy. And I can just feel all that energy all around and all that omnipotent power that God has uh, just uh, flooding over me this morning. And so I'm going to uh, really enjoy my day and I'm going to really enjoy uh, uh, everything that happens today because it's just uh, starting off so good. Uh, and I'm going to uh, start off this morning with a... Uh, a nice uh, cup of Organa Gold uh, Columbia Roast Coffee, and uh, I've got a, a, a nice little uh, a K cup uh, brew cup maker, Presto Maggio, that I always use. It just it makes it one single cup of coffee, and it's just really easy to use. I mean, just real lightweight, fits in your desk drawer. You can just you just pull it out of your desk drawer, and and it's right there, and. Uh, and uh, just uh, pour a cup of hot water in there and, and flip your little cake cup under there. And you've got a cup of a good cup of brewed coffee. Tastes just like it was brewed in the fanciest brew coffee maker there, there is in, in uh, the fanciest brew, brew coffee uh, cafe. And so uh, I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to listen to little Tanya Love. She looks like she's ready to go with a, with a lot of uh, inspirational things this morning like she always is I always get started off with her every morning and so uh, and then later on I'm going to I'll have a little of this gourmet S coffee supreme which uh, is like a kind of like a malt latte mixture and it has all the cream and sugar and everything already in it and uh, and it just uh, you, you just pour this right directly in your cup with your hot water and you're ready to go on it you can keep that in your pocket or, or wherever with you all the time uh, and uh, all you need to go with it is just uh, a little hot water and you're ready to go on it So uh, I'm all fixed up with those things. Let's see what Tanya Love has to say I know she's gonna fix me up. She always has a sparkling good things to say and, <laughs> and I just get a kick out of it too, you know of everything. It's just I get a real joy out of it We'll see uh, she looks like she's ready and so I just kind of gave her a hug and just reminded her who she was <laughs> and to yeah. just start connecting again, because if she had these powerful experiences once she could have them again and that she obviously had a consequence to choosing fear. And so what was that lesson? Like, what did she learn? 
And so it's never about punishment. It's always about lesson. What did we learn from that situation? Did it strengthen us? Did it weaken us? Did it cause us confusion? Did it bring us clarity? Did it bring us compassion, understanding? Everything has a lesson. And so if we as humans can just be much more gentle on ourselves and start to really have compassion for ourselves and not judge ourselves, maybe we did wrong to others. Maybe we've done wrong to ourselves um, for years. It's not about all that past. It's Mm. about releasing that past. And as a healer, that's exactly what I assist clients with is helping them Ah. shed that heaviness of that pain body, to shed the heaviness of that cellular memory that is sometimes conscious and oftentimes it's unconscious in them and to clear that so that they can really come into these higher vibrational um, energies, which is where we're evolving to. And so I wanted to share that backstory because this woman obviously powerfully was channeling angels. She had a lot of amazing things happen to the point that it led her to write a couple books. And then something happened in her life that caused her to doubt, caused her fear. And what Archangel Ariel has been channeling through me lately is that there are greater tests coming to us as humans. And more of us are going to go through these initiations to either stick to the path, stay to the path, or to turn from the path in fear. And we all have our own stuff. Everyone's got their own energies that are coming in. And it's how you're going to handle it. Are you going to remember to stay centered in love and in truth in your alignment? Or are you going to betray yourself because of fear? Are you going to get caught up in the external world and telling you that there's not enough and connect and relate to a lackful consciousness? Or are you going to say enough of that and remember who you are and pull away from the external world and tune inward and feel the abundance and feel the aliveness and feel the health and wholeness into manifestation? We're literally being awaken to shift and feel our vibration to the level that we would like it to be. And there is no more room for victimization on the planet as it's evolving. That once very, you know, honored and like we celebrated the victimization of things is no longer serving and it's really not helping anyone. And so her to feel bad and to kind of withhold and think she couldn't do this anymore was her own shaming. It was her own ego trying to keep her down. And what I exp- explained to her was that oftentimes what my angels have channeled through, and they're not my angels, they're our angels, but I just feel like my family, um, what they've channeled through is that often as a being is getting higher and higher in vibration, the lower vibrational energies will move in harder and harder to create pressure to try to knock that being out of alignment. So I kind of like to make references to movies a lot because movies are really powerful visual um, tools that we can use. And there's many producers and filmmakers, directors that are channeling wisdom and then creating films to help humanity awaken. And a couple of the films I love to reference are Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, these these um, films are all a similar story if you really look at it. There's the light and then there's the dark. There's the low vibrational energies. There's the high vibrational energies. And what will humanity choose? And it really comes down, like if you're watching Lord of the Rings, it really comes down to the moment at times where one choice in a direction out of alignment could have done everyone in. And it's really getting to that place on our planet where each of us are, I feel the angels are coming in so strong right now in, on our planet to help awaken the consciousness. And what they tell me is they're here to awaken the humans that are open, the ones that are listening, the ones that have suffered enough. And we have beautiful places we're going. We are ascending. We're ascending into these new realms we are creating from a third dimension we're going into fourth and fifth dimensional experiences and creating these realities that already really exist in another time space and so a lot of us in our human minds if we're very five sensory and we're just now starting to question things the angels want you to remember not to be too hard on yourself if you're not able to really 
even comprehend a lot of this. If some of it just seems like out of this world and it's blowing your mind, let it be that. Instead of resisting or struggling with it, just be open to the fact that something's blowing your mind. Because I look at anything that blows my mind as an amazing opportunity because it's showing that I am expanding more. I'm opening more. There's always been more. I just wasn't open to it. So, you know, it's kind of like everyone for a long time thought the world was flat. And until they got more and more information and kind of opened up their um, ability to even comprehend that oh, the planet was round, they couldn't even see it. But it didn't mean it wasn't round. And so that's sort of like what's going on with our humanity, with uh, humanity's shifts in consciousness, is that we are very much being given all this higher channeled information. Mm -hmm. We have angelic beings bringing in assistance all the time to this planet, sending healing to the very core of our earth and sending healing to all the humans, the animals. They're sending in this consciousness so that we'll awaken and realize our oneness, realize that we are so connected. And so if we think that we lash out and we hurt and we harm another to get ourselves in a better position, this is really insanity. And this is what our angels are coming in to awaken us to. And they, there will be a consequence to the behaviors. They say this to me all the time. We each will have opportunities to step in, to give ourselves to the light, to go into high vibration, what I like to refer to as alignment. When we're aligned with source, we are one with the Christ consciousness or the unity consciousness. And that is where we thrive. That is where abundance resides. That's where magic and miracles, what we call miracles. But in truth, it's just us stepping into our power. We are all gods in creation. We are all awakening to our power. And so if we can for a moment just remember or tune into the fact that we're the spiritual being that's highly intelligent and we are in experiencing a human awakening, this is more in alignment than I am a human being and I'm having some freaky experiences that are spiritual at times that are kind of confusing and unclear but really magical. We start to more identify with the human form when in essence we are spiritual beings and we are enjoying this process of humanity awakening, all of us together. And the angels have sent in many on the planet, all across the planet, to awaken consciousness. Beings like myself, when I was um, two years ago, Archangel mm. Ariel was channeling through me. And it was blowing my mind. And I often, when I work with clients that this stuff's happening to them in the beginning, I just encourage them to be gentle with themselves be open, be compassionate, and just listen. Because what you once thought you knew is now being challenged because it's no longer serving you. It's something you were clinging and attaching to, and it didn't ever mean it was truth. So we have to be really open right now at this time in our evolution to evolve without attachment, to completely be free of clinging, to what my angels say, stay in a place of great discernment at all times. What one energy was one day could shift in the next day. For example, you could be working with a friend or you have a good friend, and one day you're good friends. You feel the love. You feel the alignment, the joy. Another day happens where their energy seems off, and you question, like, something's off in them. So what's going on? I kind of feel like they're manipulating me. I feel like they're in fear. I feel like they're trying to control my energy. This can happen in the blink of an eye. And this is what the angels are teaching us, is that we are vibrational beings, and it's really important that we are constantly aware of the vibration of others. We are constantly tuning in to higher counsel for assistance and guidance. So if we feel confused about something or we have a little bit of a gut feeling, mm, something feels off, we don't just ignore that and blindly follow. This is not serving us any longer. We are being shown that something's off. Our intuition is speaking. And now the question is, are we listening? Are we going to call in for clarity and understanding? I encourage each of you to do this because as you call in that wisdom, you will be shown greater truth. You will be shown greater understanding. We are in a time of separation of the 
like the lower vibrations and the higher vibrations. You could say good and evil, light and dark, whatever you want to relate it to. It's really a vibrational thing. But there are those that are 